Twitter silenced President Donald Trump tonight. They have banned his personal account, citing risks to further incitement of violence. Twitter initially suspended Trump's account for 12 hours. Well, now the ban deprives Mr. Trump of a potent tool that we all know he's used to communicate directly with the American people longer than a decade. And our political specialist Sean Boyd reports the calls for the president's impeachment are getting louder. The House could vote on impeachment as early as next week, but the president indicated he plans on being in power for 12 more days. He's promising a seamless transition, yet he hasn't conceded and now says he will not attend President-elect Biden's inauguration. A new administration will be inaugurated on January 20th. In a videotaped statement, President Trump acknowledged for the first time he will no longer be the president as of January 20th. But if Democrats have their way, he could be removed before then. This is urgent. This is emergency of the highest magnitude. Speaker Nancy Pelosi says if the vice president and Trump's cabinet don't invoke the 25th Amendment, the House will move to impeach him next week. Congressman Ken Buck called it a political stunt. It was a mistake for Republican leadership to try to overturn the results of the Electoral College. It's a mistake for the Democrat leadership to try to impeach this president. I'm tired of Democrats pointing at Trump and his supporters and saying that they are burning down this country when the Democrats continue to stoke the fires of division. Buck says if President-elect Biden wants to reduce partisan rhetoric, he should oppose impeachment. Trump, who said this to his supporters on the day of the attack. We love you. You're very special. Is now condemning what they did. To those who engaged in the acts of violence and destruction, you do not represent our country. Meanwhile, fallout continues. The secretaries of education and transportation have resigned, and the Capitol Police Chief and Senate Sergeant in Arms also stepped down amid outrage over security failures. And flags are at half staff for a police officer who collapsed and died after the rioting. Impeaching the president is a long shot, and Congressman Buck says it's not something you rush in the final days. Sean Boyd, covering Colorado first.